Hey team, I wanted to address an issue that I hear time and time again, and that is, how can I be successful at this business representing something that's supposed to make you lose weight with some of our products, tighten, tone, and firm your skin if I'm overweight, if I'm the big girl? How can I be successful? And I just want to share with you guys that, um, well, I've heard two things commonly said amongst people who are larger in our business. One of the ones that I love the most is that you can simply respond to people with your own before and after photo and you can say something like, I'm still a big girl but I'm smaller than I used to be. Look at my before and after photo. Or you can say, you know what, I haven't reached my goal yet. I'm still on my journey and look at my before and after photo. I wouldn't have come this far if it weren't for the supplements and wraps that I'm using. So you can find a way to acknowledge the fact that you're not where you want to be yet, but you have your hands on a product that's going to help you get there. And people, I think, fall in love with that genuine response. Also, you don't have to be perfect to work this business and be successful. Um, I can guarantee you that if anybody saw uh, the back of my thighs right now, they would be like, Girl, you need to wrap them thighs again. Um, you know, because wraps can't out, you can't out wrap a horrible diet and no exercise. <laughs> like, you just can't. So, you don't have to be perfect. What you need to know is that you're on a journey. And if it's something that you feel convicted about, I believe that you should start using the products and give yourself the time and energy that you deserve to be on your journey. Start working towards where you want to be. There are lots of top earners with this company who are overweight. And, um, you know, the bottom line is when people want freedom and they want to be debt free and they want to stay home with their babies, the deciding factor for them is not going to be whether or not you are overweight. It's just not going to. Uh, it's, it's that simple. You have to know that it's a journey. Should you be on your fitness journey, even if you weren't in this business and you know that you're really overweight, should you want to get heart healthy? Absolutely. And because you're a part of this company, you have an, an instant discount on products that are going to help you do that. So if somebody says to you, you know, well, do you use the products? Why isn't it working for you? Then you can say, like, I absolutely use the products and I'm still on my journey. I'm a big girl now, but I'm smaller than I used to be. Something like that. So stand in that power. Don't let those people get inside your head. And don't stop yourself from sharing what you've got your hands on with someone. Um, I, I'm not where I want to be either, um, and I know what it feels like to think to yourself, like, oh, they're not going to want to talk to me because whatever reason, but just know that, that you can change lives with this product and with this opportunity, including your own. So don't let your size stop you. Get out there, love on people, and be on a journey of your own.